video right now. Yes. Michael Buccino, Beard Review. Is this, is this a good backdrop? Do we have the... I think, I think the red is bringing out your red. It's very nice, very nice. Oh, one with nature. That's what I heard about Portland. Um, so, how long have you been doing your blogging, man? Um, beard Review is two years old and five months and six... 17 days. About 14 hours and counting? Something like that. Nice. So what made you get into it? Do you want me to be honest? Yes, please, always. The, uh, the thing about beard review is it was a dare. It was a, or a challenge, I guess. Mm -hmm. my, my friend said, blogs don't last longer than three months, and if they do, they, they actually have holding power. And I thought, well, you're obviously challenging me to come up with something to, to review, or to, to, to do, and whatever. Sure. And, and um, I like pitchfork music. Nice. And they have a very pretentious stance on every type of music uh -huh. um, that they review. And um, I thought I might as well do an arbitrary rating scale of course. on people's beards. Of course. Because I and fucking love beards. So what's your, what's your, I mean, what do you base your ratings on? What's the number one thing you're looking for? Number one thing. I don't care about one through four. Gestalt. Gestalt, yeah. <laughs> the sum of the parts, man. I like that. I like that. This, this man, this man is educated. Educated man. <laughs> not really, not really, no. Don't lie to the people. Now, tell me, tell me uh, what you're doing with um, the whole design. You love giving credit to artists. You're always, you're sporting a nice shirt today. And yeah, that, that's what I really like this? about your blog is that you're always giving credit where it's due. And that's, I think in the, uh, in the world of bearding, it's important to do because you're always smaller than, than the, the community. The community is be better and bigger and hairier. It, it's important that... The, uh, well, okay, so Beard Review has shifted gears in recent um, months. Uh, sometime between June of last year and, and June of now, mm -hmm. um, it, you've seen an incredible change from reviewing people's beards and keeping the humor going there uh, to um, just kind of being a, a, a resource for, um, well, ephemera. So, mm -hmm. like, your apparel and whatnot, like the funny little quips and, and comics and artists based things. Sure, sure. Um, a lot of artists are very much hairy and bearded. And it's entertaining. Sure. Beard beard art is entertaining <laughs> in its own right. And it's, um, it's some of it's gorgeous. Some of it's just hilarious. And I like gorgeous and I like hilarious. So, um, <laughs> Some and, of these and, artists and, need to be exposed. Of course, of course. So that's that's where that's going. That's so you bring them into your office, you strip them naked, and you post them on the site. I see what's going on. They got to be exposed. Well, sometimes you have a beard show, like Keep Portland Beard. But and anyway, hang on. I'm talking about beard shows. Where are we? What are we doing here? This is this is, uh, this is the first nationals competition. First put nationals a, put on by uh, Beard Team USA. Indeed. Captain being? Oh, there you go. The man. Yeah, of the course. man, right? The man himself. Garibaldi out the yin-yang. And uh, Jack, Jack Passion. Jack Passion? Who's Jack that? Passion. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Jack Passion? I never heard of that before. He's the beardiest guy in the United States. Nice. And, and the man is our DJ tonight. Or Indeed. our MC. MC, MC, MC. 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 Yeah. And MC stands for Master of... Beards. There you go. Of course. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I don't know why it starts with the C. It must be like a... Latin I think it's a thing. Celtic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Celtic? So, yeah, yeah. I think it's one of those symbols that got confused through the years. Yeah. Um, well, listen. I think I need to go backstage and be on bat for the freestyle. You, uh, you, you can take your tail, put that between your legs, and go back to the crowd. You know what I'm saying? 